come on. There you go. Yeah. And that's so that he doesn't have to jump down that big step after his surgery. Ben, should we walk back up? Ben? Ben, come on. Come on, Ben. Come on, let's walk up. There we go. Up we go. I don't want to go up. But you can see, you see all the paw prints actually where he's been using it. It's absolutely fantastic. Basically, his, his back legs, um, they're not working as well as they used to now. Plus, he's had surgery to take something out of his stomach that he swallowed. Uh, and all of that means getting this ramp now, he has a much, much easier life. A much easier life. Got you, Ben? Yes, I do. It folded up, obviously. I'm going to show you going in the back of the car now. And just so that you can see, um, nice piece of aluminium or steel running through there, so it is sturdy. It'll take a fair sized dog, but obviously not human or anything. Now, if you have a look on the back, you'll see that there's um, rubber pads there, which gives it a secure grip on that. And also there's a catch there for securing it when it's uh, folded together. So, that onto there. And that's not going anywhere, as you can see. Now, um, previously, I'd have to lift the dog into the car, or the dogs, I should say. Uh, but now, if I'm not there, my wife can just leave them up there. And even though Ben's had his operation, he got up there to go and uh, visit the vet this morning for his review. So, when all said and done, although I use it, although we're going to permanently use it to get into the house now because the back legs are going, it's also great to get in the back of the, the state car as well. So, a real good recommendation. I want to show you this as well before we sign off. So this is, um, it's really tough, uh, sandpaper-esque type um, adhes adhesive coating on there. Your dogs have really got something to hold on to so that they don't slide down. So you can hear it there and see the nails coming off on it. So uh, yeah, great.